Rachel is a phenomenal speaker. She has represented our club admirably at various contests, not, not only at the club level, but at the area level and the division level, mm -hmm. maybe even in the higher, district, in the district yes. level. Amazing. She's a, she's a really exceptional speaker. She, I particularly like her sense of humor, and I'm really looking forward to hearing today about free little libraries. Please join me in welcoming Rachel Ringebach. I have always loved to read. Ever since I was little, I always had a book or three with me at all times. My favorite thing to do was to go to the library to get a huge stack of books to read that week. I loved the library so much, I dreamed about becoming a librarian when I grew up. <laughs> Unfortunately, the earnings potential of a librarian <laughs> ultimately did not lead me down that road. But I recently found a new way to live out that dream, and that's through a little free library. Today, I'd like to tell you first what a little free library is. Second, I'd like to tell you about what the benefits of them are. And finally, I'd like to tell you how you too can get involved with this incredibly noble cause. A little free library is simply that. It's little, it's free, and it's a library. By definition, it's a small and informal lending library that a neighborhood can use to share books. They can take on all sorts of shapes and sizes, but most commonly, you'll see something like a, a large birdhouse type of fixture in somebody's front yard that's full of books to be shared. It can also take on a much simpler form. It can be something as easy as a box of books in a common area, or even a bookshelf that you just throw out in your front yard. My Little Free Library is built to look like my house. So my house is a two-story structure with a small side room where my office and guest bathroom are. My Little Free Library is a main common structure with two shelves in it, and then a small little side room with dog biscuits in it for the four-legged visitors. <laughs> Every Little Free Library has a steward who gets to maintain the, libraries, the library and all the books in it. As the steward of My Little Free Library, I get to live out all my librarian dreams. I get to pick out what books go into there, and I get to take out the books that I don't want to. And sometimes as a steward, you have to make this heartbreaking decision of when to get rid of books. Some books are simply just too old and gross to be appealing to anybody else. In the summertime, I also get a lot of the Book of Mormon left in there. Sometimes it feels like a sin to get rid of some of these books. <laughs> but as a steward, you just have to make that decision sometimes. The final... Uh, to talk now about the benefits of a little free library, I'd like to tell you what the motto is, and that's take a book, leave a book. This encourages people not just to take books from the library, but also to leave books to share with others. I've always loved getting recommendations for book ideas from other people because it exposes me <coughs> to such a huge range of new authors and ideas that, than books that I would normally pick up. By sharing your books in a little free library, you get to share all of your favorite books, ideas, and authors with everybody in your neighborhood. Another benefit of a Little Free Library is getting to meet new people. We actually had a grand opening for our Little Free Library. I announced it on our neighborhood website and explained what it was and where it was, which is my front yard. And the day of our grand opening, we actually sat outside and met people that came by the Little Free Library to check it out. In the months since it's opened, I've had more people stop me when I'm in my front yard to tell me how much they love the Little Free Library and the idea behind it of sharing books with the neighborhoods. I've met more people in my neighborhood since the library opened than in the entire five years that I've lived in that house. Mm -hmm. And it's not just me that gets to meet new people. My neighbors have also met new people by just going to the library. I see them out there all the time chatting away as they come to swap out their books. And the dogs have also met each other out there as they stop <laughs> to get their treats. The last benefit that I wanted to talk about was the best benefit that I could see, and that's the kids. When I first thought about building a little free library, I assumed it would mostly be for adults and that kids wouldn't really be interested. I didn't even stock up on many kids' books. When we had our grand opening, it was the kids in the neighborhood that were by far the most excited and the most eager to start swapping out their books. It was exciting to me to see how involved these kids have gotten in the Little Free Library and how eager they've been to trade books with each other and pick up new books for themselves. It means a lot to me that I can help to encourage this instead of kids just sitting around on their computers and their phones these days. Now that you've heard about all of these benefits, I know you're dying to ask me how you too can get involved with the Little Free Libraries. And there's a ton of different ways. 
The first way you can get involved is simply by seeking them out. There are over 36,000 little free libraries in the United States alone, and there are even more worldwide. In Reno, there's at least 20 registered little free libraries. You can find a map of them online at littlefreelibrary.org and see where they're located and even find pictures of them online. Take a book with you or a few books with you if you want to and share your books with others and see what books they've left for you. Another way you can help is by donating your books to a Little Free Library steward. Libraries can be very costly to build, especially if you're like us and build it seven times before we got it right. <laughs> but it's also costly to maintain books, especially if your books are being used up quickly. Chapter books for older, more advanced readers are the hardest books for me to find, especially age-appropriate chapter books for the older kids. So if you have those, I guarantee you there's a steward that wants them. Finally, you can get involved with Little Free Libraries by helping to put more of them into the community. You can build your very own Little Free Library for your neighborhood to share in books. If building your own seems like too much work for you to do, you can also donate at littlefreelibrary.org to sponsor Little Free Libraries across the country. This helps to put Little Free Libraries into deserving neighborhoods everywhere, especially into neighborhoods where lower income kids may not have the same access to books that we have here in Reno. Now you know what a Little Free Library is. You've heard about all of the benefits that I've experienced, such as meeting new people and sharing books and getting kids more interested in reading. So now you too can get out there and start building your own Little Free Library or sponsoring other Little Free Libraries.